a comedian also a rich love air training year pan and i'm the interview with gosha air training a high school africa concerning nsmq in Zambia or kafa about this our senior high schools are air course or ghana and your first time you are kindly subscribe now unyaba akakwaka nsmq saying say nsmq is just a show now nah, in science senior high school it's not meant for show the last classroom i used before i left the school <laughs> from three at one but now it's the agric blog so sad, it's an agric class i tell people that i am a student of in science senior high school they say, what school is that it's not popular we've not seen it in science and math quiz why <laughs> You're talking about science and math, please. <laughs> Gosh, let me ask you a question. You Tell see, me why, don't ask you me. You see, the science and math quiz is a show. It's a what? It's a show. But then this school, my school, mm. it is not for show. I'm surprised <laughs> you of all people you're asking me such a question. As a noble of this institution, you should know that um, the main objective or the main aim of this school is to produce is to produce nobles to correct the mistakes that those science and math quiz people are doing. Hey! Yeah, this school is not meant for sure, Charlie. I'm serious. It's not meant to, for sure. To correct what? The, the, the mistakes. That's what I'm doing. That those Science and math quiz, the people they are doing, the harm they are creating to their country. The, their schools. Yeah. They are creating science, uh, harm with science and math. How, why do you, you say that? Let me explain so that you understand. You see, <laughs> in such schools, they have students that are biologically, they are biologically good. In terms of academics, they are biologically um, endowed with the knowledge. It, it's their field. Those people that go for the science and math. Yes. It's not, it's not like the teachers that make them. They, they, they are bringing they, the mind. They, they, they are like, it's in their blood, it's in their genes. So it's not somebody that forces them to do it. But then it's with them. They are born with it. No, but so why don't you have. Uh, no, 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 no. They won't come to this school. Because in this very country, we have institutions that were built by colonial minds that, that have all the required facilities what for learning. institutions? Institutions like Presec, Prempe, those big, big institutions, those big names. But then, if... They were built by colonial minds? Yes. As in, as in what? You see, they, they, they were not built by a black man who will not sow a seed that he will not leave to reap. <gasps> and the black man will never waste his time on a project that he will not gain benefits from. How do, how do you prove that? You see, look at those new institutions that are being established. They Take a good look. They are not you wait and compare them to those colonial schools. You see a vast difference. The school has been built all right, but look at the infrastructure. Let me ask you, if you were to be an academically good student, and then you are told to choose a school, which school you choose? You automatically go in for those colonial schools because they have everything you can dream of. I'm not talking about those that paid to go there, but rather I'm talking about those that genuinely deserve to be there. So there are people who pay to be there? I said, no, we don't talk plenty about that one, I say. <laughs> we know that there are people who are paid to be there. And as I'm talking, you see, there are people out there, they know them. So they're not, as for me, they, I paid to be there. And in the same way, there are people like, I, say, I deserve to be there. So wait, oh, the conversation is this. Those science and math people who feature in the in the competition, yeah. they are people who are already academically, they are wired academically, biologically. It is in their DNA. Yes, but the school will not tell you such. The school will tell you that we have teachers that have prepared and trained our students for such courses. But it's true. No, if that is true, then it means that GES is one, a biased and a failed institution. Why? In the sense that if it is really true, and if it is really, really true, then why is that GES has recruited superhuman teachers for this institution, but then recruited extremely dumb teachers for other institutions? If they say all the teachers that they are giving out write an exam, write the test, then it means all teachers should be equal, and then they should be able to produce 
genuinely intelligent students. So they should be able to teach everyone to be the same. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm trying to say. So why is it not happening like that? Amazing. If, if you look at it clearly, then we can proudly say, I can boldly say and testify to the fact that if it is true, then it means that the teachers do not contribute to the success rate of the students. But if a school is, is, is fortunate enough to gain an academically endowed student, they pick that student up, add a little polishes, and then they gamble with the student. For a show? Yes. If they take you in, it works out perfect. If it doesn't, which okay. school? Can you specifically point out and say that? This school has won the science and math quiz five times in a row without pause. Like they won this year, the next year they win, the following they win, the following they win. Five times. Which school? Just give me a name. Because sometimes this year they will get somebody who is good yes. and gabble, the next year they will not get they will this not thing get. you get. So it keeps so, rotating like that. That's how it is. It's a show. It's, it's a show. What are you doing? What do you do? do? It's a show, but then this school is not meant for show. If you look at the vision of our school, it says an institution for academic excellence. <laughs> you, you, let, let's, <laughs> let's go into Presec. Let's randomly select a student and ask questions. You see, the student will be fumbling, but it, let the school authorities themselves pick out a student for you and ask the student. You, see, they, pa, 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 you get exactly what you want. But if you randomly select, you see the difference. Are you the school prefect? No, I'm not the school prefect. You are just a regular house prefect. Ah, Charlie! <laughs> but the school is making me. Since our school is not meant for joke, we, on the 21st day, our school is having a program. We are changing the name of the school to that one man, eh, that he single-handedly gained the freedom of Ghana yeah, with just one hand. He gained total freedom for the nation. A sergeant for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. But this school is going to be changed from inside to... Dr. Kwame Nkrumah Senior High School. You see, Kwame Nkrumah was not a lazy man. We want to change the name to Kwame Nkrumah because we want the name to fit the objective of the school. Which is? Which is to create nobles who are going to go out there and correct the mistakes that have been made by those big men. You see, when you put Ghana on the table, dissect its parts, open it up, you see that those people occupying big, big positions, they are the same people from those big institutions. And then they are the same people who steal, who are corrupt, stealing the money, stealing Ghana's money, building their own companies, and then they sit down and look for honest people to come and run, them for, run it for them. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's funny when you think about like when you sit down and think about it, it's actually funny. But our agenda here is to produce nobles. Nobles like yourself, my guy. I'm a noble. Che, what you are doing alone is having an impact in the education system. You see, the main objective is not to produce lazy people, not to produce corrupt students, but rather to produce people who will be able to go out there, make an impact. People who will be able to change the corrupt methods. We are not part of the story of corruption. When you come to Kwame Nkrumah Senior High School, our, our core values is discipline, integrity, hard work, and excellence. No matter what you do, we excel. So talk not about NSMQ. We are talking about the quality of the goods being produced. If I'm a queer student, I'm being groomed, I perfect everything. I go out there on telly, I'm perfect. But then I come out and I'm not able to meet the standard of community. What good has the school done to me? But in here, we don't look as such. We make time for every student. We make sure every student is up to standard. And then we are all able to go out there, not to become flops of society, but then to make perfect people for the society. So Charlie, that is rich, rich love in view concerning this whole thing. Saying it's uh, NSMQ on it here. Um, in Science Senior High School, which is currently um, to be changed to um, Kwame Nkrumah Senior High School, sake, uh, sake of the genuine mindset of how um, Kwame Nkrumah has transformed Ghana. You know? That is how they see their school to be, to transform individuals who attend the school. Now, this is... Uh, actually, I'm a product of Prempe College, but what she's saying, somehow, she has um, a likely truth in it, what you are saying, because 
most students who are genuinely or academically good like naturally goes to this a schools list a schools in this country but you you won't see somebody say or oh, yeah genuinely and i say academically and i say um naturally good so or call this kind of schools what's yours yet so basically these people have their mindsets before they get there and they just build they just need a helping hand to just get to the extreme and just rock on this nsmq shows are you who said they perform marvelous but this in sign and other schools in India, you see, they pick people, those students from low class and also train them to be one of the best among uh, the students within the school. So basically, this is why Rich Love is training. You can also share suggestions if you believe in what she's saying. Leave in the comment section and let's have interactions. My name is Mr. Showbiz. If today is your first time, you're kindly subscribing and be part of this family. And I'm out.